good evening everybody once again so what we were discussing yesterday will anyone give me a feedback regarding this what we were discussing yesterday yes please anyone <clears throat> what we were discussing yesterday are you getting my voice everyone there are many students logged in but no one is uh, talking yes aditya aire are you getting my voice yes sir yes to bolte kyun nahi tum log fir nahi sir main abhi abhi join hua hu ha koi baat nahi aditya agle do din tak pehla tu opening dega mere sath galega sorry agle do din tak jaisa tu join karega good evening karega yes sir aur recap bhi dega mujhe kya discuss kar rahe the hum log है ना यस सर तो बताओ क्या रिकैप कर रहे थे हम लोग कल कल का रिकैप क्या है हमारा सर वी स्टडीड अबाउट आइसोटोप्स आइसोबार्स एंड मिरर न्यूक्लियाई आल्सो अबाउट एटम एंड प्रोटॉन्स एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ओके ओके और ठीक है बढ़िया बढ़िया काफी अच्छा आपने रिकैप दिया है सो दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट मतलब वी शुड हैव द इंटरेक्शन ओवर ईयर अगर इंटरेक्शन नहीं बनेगा तो इट्स डिफिकल्ट है ना सो जैसे कि आदर साल वी हैज पुट फॉर द चैट बॉक्स एंड ऑल सो बेटर टू हैव द इंटरेक्शन चलो कोई बात नहीं वन सेकंड लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द रिकैप व्हाट वी आर डिस्कसिंग वी आर हियर विद अ 13th चैप्टर फ्रॉम योर केमिस्ट्री नथिंग बट द न्यूक्लियर केमिस्ट्री एंड रेडियो एक्टिविटी जैसे मैंने कल बताया कि ये चैप्टर को तीन सेक्शन में हम लोग डिवाइड करते हैं पहले सेक्शन में इंट्रोडक्शन टू न्यूक्लियर केमिस्ट्री द कोर कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ न्यूक्लियर केमिस्ट्री एंड लास्ट में रेडियो एक्टिविटी एंड इट्स एप्लीकेशन इन आर डेली रूथ इन लाइफ व्हाट वी डिस्कस फर्दर मोर दिस चैप्टर हैज अ वेरी नाइस जर्नी मतलब दिस हैज अ वेरी पोटेंशियल टॉपिक पोटेंशियल चैप्टर एंड द फ्यूचर ऑफ वर्ल्ड इज नथिंग विद न्यूक्लियर रीजन बी एंड दैट एनर्जी क्राइसिस इज द बिग क्राइसिस बिफोर ऑल द वर्ल्ड बिफोर एवरी वन एवरी कंट्री has to give the energy and that's why everybody is thinking of uh, some alternative sources of energy and i think so uh, you may be aware of this one being this is the global warming we are thinking of the renewable sources of the energy because this fossil fuels and all the energy we obtain out of that has the limitations so that's why we need to go for the renewable uh, renewable sources of the energy and and we know very well uh, solar energy one of the form of this uh, renewable source of energy or renewable energy uh, we are turning towards as well as nuclear energy is also one of the important solution for this one because so we have a great deposits of this nuclear uh, radioactive isotopes and uh, using this we can make a nuclear power so this technology just we have to conquer we have to have research on this technology but it's very powerful energy many countries or some of the countries some of the companies are making uh, research on this field one of the company is making research on the engine which will work uh, with this uh, nuclear uh, material or nuclear uh, fuel you can say or if that comes uh, uh, into the existence if that they got success in this innovations you can't believe it bombay pune journey will be just within 10 paisa just 10 paisa aaj hame agar bombay se pune jana hai to kitne rupaye dene padte hai bachitra jaate ho lekin agar hamare paas ye nuclear power plant aa jata hai nuclear फ्यूल uh, पे चलने वाला इंजन अगर हमारा ढूंढ लेते हैं हम लोग तो बॉम्बे टू पुणे हमारा जर्नी सिर्फ टेन पैसे के अंदर हो जाएगा दिस इज दिस इज द पावर ऑफ न्यूक्लियर केमिस्ट्री कैन सी यार एवरीवेयर और हमारे घर के अंदर uh, हो सकता है कि छोटा सा इन्वर्टर हो जो न्यूक्लियर इन्वर्टर हो और जिसके ऊपर हम लोगों को ट्वेंटी आवर हमारा खुद का इलेक्ट्रिसिटी जिसके आधार पर मिलेगा हम लोगों को यह गवर्नमेंट का जो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी आता है उसके ऊपर डिपेंड रहने की जरूरत नहीं है खुद का इलेक्ट्रिसिटी छोटे से रिएक्टर के साथ हमारे घर के अंदर बनाएंगे मेनी कंपनीज आर वर्किंग ऑन दैट so that means we have to have a research on this field but it's very potential field what we are discussing nuclear chemistry and radioactivity it has many applications the study we have discussed we have uh, many applications here uh, of this nuclear chemistry principles of nuclear chemistry and radioisotopes over here so we have seen 
uh, it has applications in agriculture field it has applications in medicinal fields or medicines pharmacology it has applications in uh, production quality control uh, uh, it has application in uh, uh, many biological processes uh, it has many applications in geology paleontology uh, where we are dealing with the fossils and all everything or oh, it has many um, uh, applications such like carbon dating technique is a very important technique which is the application of nuclear uh, chemistry or radioisotopes carbon dating so mujhe lagta hai ki this is the power of nuclear chemistry what we are discussing today and this is what we are discussing here the chapter kal ke lecture mein humne ye bhi discuss kiya yahan pe ki uh, we have seen structure of atom uh, in uh, one of the chapter us jiska naam hi tha structure of atom we have seen structure of atom many Scientists put forth the structure of atom. Out of that, uh, we know there is a thomson, we know other core atomic model, core atomic model. Finally, quantum mechanical model. But the father of this atomic model is nothing but the Rutherford. Rutherford is known as because first time he uh, put forth the very revolutionary atomic model before us, and that's why uh, he is known as uh, father of the uh, structure of atom. And whatever the structure of atom he put forth, that is just explained by some other theory. So according to that, uh, we have seen. structure of atom consists of centrally situated a highly dense area known as nucleus and electrons revolves around the nucleus that is what we have seen here structure of atom and hum achhi tarah jante hain ki this structure of atom can be compared can be made analogy with uh, our solar system in our solar system hum achhi tarah jante hain ki sun is at the center and uh, electrons uh, that planets revolves around the sun so in our solar system sun is at the center and our rest of the planet revolves around the sun this is the structure of our solar system same like that this is structure of atom in structure of atom nucleus lies at the center which is highly dense area and electrons revolves around the nucleus as like a planet every electron has a determined decided path or fixed path in which that electron revolves so this is the structure of atom where in structure of atom there are two parts that is one is the nucleus and another is the rest part of an atom nucleus consists of protons and neutrons mainly there are many subatomic particles no doubt at all but mainly Uh, atom is made up of proton neutrons and electrons and that's why it is called as fundamental particles of an atom proton neutrons electrons are called as fundamental particles of an atom that is also what we are saying but but nucleus consists of protons and neutrons electrons revolve around the nucleus so protons and neutrons are present to the nucleus of an atom and that's why they are called as nucleons that is also what we have seen and based on this atoms of every element is also called as nuclides here in nuclear chemistry we never say uh, atom of the particular element we say a nuclide so general chemistry we have atom kehte hain molecule kehte hain us tarike se is chemistry mein nuclear chemistry mein hum jab kisi atom ke bare mein baat karte hain to usko hum log nuclear aisa kehte hain so carbon nuclide then uh, radium nuclide uranium nuclide uh, helium nuclide aisa hum log kehte hain aur uske bare mein kahi humne dekha ki it's very important thing that every nuclear in chemistry is noted like that x X, Z, and A. As a dikhaja, then this is nothing but the N. Or we note very well that is nothing but you can say uh, X is nothing but the symbol of element, symbol of element, which was that. Z is nothing but the atomic number. You know, A is nothing but the atomic mass number, and N is nothing but the neutron number, neutron number. So these are the very important things, and this is nothing but the न्यूक्लाइड तो न्यूक्लाइड इस तरीके से दिखाया जाता है अभी ये न्यूक्लाइड दिखाने के कई सारे तरीके होते हैं जैसे मैंने बताया कल x z a n ये एक तरीका है कुछ जगह ऐसा दिखाया जाता है x z a कुछ जगह ऐसा दिखाया जाता है x z a ऐसा भी दिखाया जाता है कोई भी कुछ ना हो दिस इज अ वेरी परफेक्ट वे टू रिप्रेजेंट दैट न्यूक्लाइड न्यूक्लाइड दिखाने का एक तरीका होता है और इसके लिए जैसे मैंने कहा था कि कार्बन कार्बन 6 12 Uh, oxygen 8 18 then helium 2 4 like this one hydrogen 1 2 yeah 1 3 yeah 1 4 like this one so this is the way how we can write this one these tarike se hum log likh sakte hain aur ye hamare samne hai that is what we have seen here so this is the way and this is called as a nucleide now kal humne ye bhi dekha ki these nucleides are again classified into different different categories alag alag categories mein unhe classify kiya ja sakta hai to kal humne dekhi kaun se kaun se dekha humne kal तो कल जो हमने क्लासिफिकेशन देखा था उसके अंदर सबसे पहला देखा हमने दैट इज आइसोटोप्स आइसोटोप्स दूसरा देखा हमने आइसोबार्स तीसरा देखा हमने दैट इज यू कैन से मिरर न्यूक्लियाई हां फोर्थ देखा हमने दैट इज नथिंग बट यू कैन से आइसोटोन्स 
and fifth they come the meta stable state also called as your uh, nuclear isomers isomers these are also called as meta stable state so these are the five uh, type of important classification of the nucleides this is called as classification of nucleides classification of nucleides see this is the way how we can show the nucleide this is the way how we can show the nuclide nuclear and hysteric is the kind of thing x is a symbol of element z is its atomic number a is its mass number n is its neutron number and that can that is called as a nuclide kisi bhi atom ka nuclide is tarike se dikha jata hai and ye jo nuclide ki classification is tarike se kiya jata hai that is you can say isotopes isobars these are nuclear isotones and uh, nuclear isomers to kal humne jo discuss kiya tha iske andar aap dekhiyega even we talk about the isotopes to usse humne dekha tha ki you can say isotopes are having same atomic number different mass number carbon 12 Uh, then carbon thirteen, then carbon fourteen, then carbon number six, six or six n. All these are the isotopes of carbon. All these are the isotopes of carbon. No doubt, because these are the atoms of the carbon having same atomic number but different mass number. Our college are isotopes. We have seen isobars. Isobars के अंदर क्या देखा हमने? Here sodium twenty three, magnesium twenty three. Means these are the atoms of different element. This is the sodium whose atomic number is 11, but the mass number is 23. Magnesium atomic number is 12, but mass number is 23. So these are the atoms of different element having same at uh, same uh, mass number, but different atomic number are called as isobars. Mirror nuclear के अंदर बात की थी हमने. Mirror nuclear the nuclei in which uh, these nucleides differ just by one proton or one neutron. Either one proton may be uh, there uh, extra or may be less than that. So that's why they uh, is kind of that. Is kind of that. Is that what they kind of that? Hydrogen or helium? Hydrogen uh, one uh, three, or you can say helium two or four. So is kind of that. Is that what? Either one proton or one neutron. So is kind of that. Is that what we can say? Is kind of that. So these are called the mirror nuclei. Isotopes. We talked about isotopes. We saw that calcium forty uh, and uh, potassium forty. These are. So here. Uh, Calcium has 20 and potassium has 90 atomic number. Mass numbers are same. Now, this can happen because neutron number is same. Isotopes are having same number of neutrons. Neutron number is same. That is why they are called as isotopes. Nuclear isotopes, which we have seen in the beta stable state. Okay. Now, sir, the number was just enough. Uh, that is what are these nuclear isotopes? So, nuclear isotopes. What are they called? Now, see, the cobalt. What are we talking about? Because cobalt uh, 60 and again cobalt 60. These are the two uh, isomers of cobalt name elements or cobalt name nuclide. Hmm, better we say uh, cobalt nuclide. So this is the cobalt nuclide. This is also cobalt nuclide. Both has the same atomic number. Both has the same mass number. Okay. Both have atomic number same. Both have mass number same. Uh, neutron number is same. Hota. Neutron number is same. Hota. So what is the difference? What is the difference? Is of the energy. Both have difference. What is the difference? Energy. So the difference is of the energy. Difference is of the element. But look, these are the atoms of the elements. These are the atoms of the same element having same atomic number, same atomic mass number, same neutron number. Just they differ from each other by energy. One will be having higher energy, another will be having lower energy. So difference is of just energy. Difference is of just energy, and that's why they are called nuclear isotopes. So uh, the element having higher energy is called your meta state. So you can say M60, like this one. मेटा स्टेबल स्टेट और मेटा स्टेट उसे कहा जाता है सो दिस इज द इलेवेंट और दिस इज न्यूक्लियर विच इज एविंग हाई एनर्जी एंड दैट्स व्हाई दिस मेटा स्टेट हैज बीन पुट ओवर हियर टू स्केन द मेटा स्टेट कहा जाता है एंड हियर कोबाल्ट 60 जिसका एनर्जी का प्रेफरेंस थोड़ा सा कम है सो दिस इज व्हाट वी कैन से ये इसके अंदर आ जाता है सो दिस इज न्यूक्लियर एसिड सो दीस आर द टाइप्स ऑफ न्यूक्लियोइड्स यू कैन से क्लासिफाई ऑफ न्यूक्लियोइड्स नाउ क्लासिफाई से क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ न्यूक्लियोइड्स कैन बी डन ऑन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट बेसिस अलग-अलग बेसिस पे किया जा सकता है क्योंकि वन ऑफ द बेसिस था These are the different classifications. Okay? So nuclear can be classified as isotopes, isobars, mirror nuclei, isotones, and nuclear isomers. कल हमने सिर्फ nuclear isomers बचा था बाकी सब हमने discuss किया था. Nuclear isomers क्या होते हैं हमने देखा? Nuclear isomers are uh, the nucleides of the same element having same atomic number, same mass number, same neutron. Just difference. They differ by energy. One of the state will be having higher energy. Another state will be having lower energy. So, uh, element having higher energy should be called as meta state. And that is what we can see here. We uh, get a meta state here. Like this, here is uh, having lower. Energy. So that is the difference what we can see here. This is the difference. Nevertheless, 
So that is what we can say. This is what we have seen in uh, last lecture. In this case. Yeah. Now let's move again towards the classification of nucleotides on based on some other other characteristics. We have this. Classification of nuclear two types. That is two categories. Number one is the for the stable, stable nucleides, and number two is the for the unstable, unstable. So be clear now. This is what we can say. So here, classification of nucleides on based on stability. This is the classification of nucleides based on the stability. By the way, the classification based on the particle, the proton, neutron, electron, like that. This is the classification of nucleotides with stable nucleotides and unstable nucleotides. Whatever the nucleotides we get in here uh, in the nature or naturally, this can be classified as can say stable nucleotides or unstable nucleotides. Uh, I think, who say that we have stable nucleotides? Who say that we have unstable nucleotides? So these are the nucleotides we uh, remains as it is for a long time, keeping for a long time. They do not change. Their nucleus do not change for keeping a long time. And then these elements or these nucleotides are called. Stable nucleides, whereas these are the nucleides whose <coughs> these are the nucleides whose nucleus got changes uh, into some another nucleide uh, during the period uh, some period of uh, uh, time period. These are nothing but the unstable nucleides. मतलब क्या होता है सी? These are the elements also called as non-radioactive and these are the elements called as radioactive. Simply मतलब क्या है? So these are non-radioactive, non-radioactive. And these are you can say radioactive. So, okay, so uh, this is the difference. So these are the elements called the non-radioactive. These are the elements called the radioactive. For example, for example, we say iron ki baat karte, copper ki baat karte. These are the elements which are very stable. They generally do not show radioactive. Here are the elements called the radium, called the uranium, thorium. Ah, uh, these are the elements which shows the radioactivity phenomenon. Radioactivity phenomenon. So, what is that? So simple language में कहते हैं तो these are the elements which shows the radioactivity because of a spontaneous radioactivity nuclide of these elements changes into some other nuclide मतलब generally ये सारे elements ना emitted में change होते हैं finally emit करते हैं radiation emit करते हैं और emitted में change होते हैं मतलब during the time period इनका nuclide change होता है complete nuclide change होता है मतलब carbon का hydrogen atom बन जाता है like this one carbon का hydrogen atom बनता है ऐसा मतलब हमारे पास carbon atom था उसका hydrogen atom बन गया complete atom element बदल जाता That is called. उसे हम लोग इस चैप्टर में न्यूक्लाइड कहते हैं, है ना? हम यहाँ पे एलिमेंट्स अब तो यूज़ नहीं करेंगे, तो इस चैप्टर में से यूज़ क्या करेंगे न्यूक्लाइड। So these are the elements whose nuclear changes with the time, with the time period, and that's why they are called as unstable nuclei. Simply they are radioactive, naturally. And these are the elements whose nucleus remains stable over a period of time. Nuclide do not change, and that's why these are called as stable nuclei. Clear with this? So this is only simply just for what we can say classification based on stability, uh, stable nucleides and unstable nucleides. These are mostly non-radioactive elements and these are mostly radioactive elements. Now the radioactive phenomena that we have discussed here, but what is the radioactive phenomena? What is the radioactive phenomena? These are the elements, radium, uranium, thorium. These are the elements. They naturally emit radiation from the nucleus of an atom. This is the radium atom. It's the nucleus of the radiation that emits radiation. Continuous and spontaneous. So radium spontaneously and continuously emits radiation. उसके सपोज ये अगर nucleus है इस medium का तो यहाँ से radiation पा रहा है. Radiation पा रहा है. और continuous है. Spontaneous है. Till it attains the stability. जब तक ये nuclear stability की तरफ नहीं जाता है, तब तक वो emission शुरू रहता है उसका. And that process में तो बिल्कुल अच्छा नहीं रहता. So continuous, spontaneous emission of high energy radiation from the nucleus of an atom is called the radioactivity. ये डिफरेंशन आगे देखना है, but चलते-चलते देख लेते हैं कि कई सारे टॉपिक उसके साथ जुड़े हुए हैं। क्या बताएं? So this what we can say in class fiction based on this. Next topic is we are here. Next topic is nuclear stability or nuclear stability. Nuclear stability. अभी देखिए 
we are here with nuclide stability okay uh nuclide stability matlab kaisa ki abhi jo humne dekha stable and unstable some of the elements which gives the uh, radiation emit the radiation and that's why they are called you can say uh, radioactive and some of the uh, nuclides do not emit the radiation they do not change their nuclide and that's why they stay forever as it is and that's why they are called the uh, stable nuclides now the thing is that eh, the stability of the nuclide depends upon which factors it is been studied क्योंकि नेचुरली देखते हैं तो मोस्ट ऑफ द इलेमेंट्स आर स्टेबल और वेरी फ्यू इलेमेंट्स आर अनस्टेबल हमारे पीरियोडिक इलेमेंट्स हैं जरा 180 इलेमेंट्स तो आउट ऑफ दिस 180 वे हेल्दी इलेमेंट्स मोस्ट ऑफ द इलेमेंट्स आर स्टेबल मोस्ट ऑफ द इलेमेंट्स आर दैट नंबर इज वेरी हाई व्हेरएज अनस्टेबल इलेमेंट्स आर वेरी बहुत गिने चुने इलेमेंट्स हैं जो अनस्टेबल है नेचुरली नेचुरली उसके अंदर भी दो कैटेगरी जाते हैं नेचुरली और एक आर्टिफिशियल आते हैं आज की भाषा में बात करेंगे हम लोग तो आर्टिफिशियली किसी भी इलेमेंट्स को हम लोग रेडियोएक्टिव बना सकते हैं most of the elements from low particles the radioactive bana sakte hai that is artificial but naturally agar baat karte hai there are 118 elements available including artificial and natural out of that most of the elements are very stable they do not show the radioactive phenomena but very few elements which are unstable so they show the phenomena of radiation the big question is that on which factor does this stability depends those elements which are stable in nature because of which factor they are stable in because of which factor they are stable in nature this has been uh, discussed and this is the point of interest uh, for the scientists and for me and hence we discuss uh, that is you can see nuclear stability there are different uh, factors which was uh, discussed the number one factor is that not or or even simply i can say this even or number of number of protons and neutrons protons and neutrons or even or number of protons and neutrons so when scientists studied carefully when scientists studied the study carefully uh, the first reason they found that is that the given or odd number of protons and neutrons present in an atom say for example hum carbon nuclide ki baat kar rahe the carbon 6 12 carbon 6 12 this can have proton ki baat kar rahe the formula kya hoga a is equal to z plus n a is equal to z plus n iska a kitna hai 12 z kitna hai 6 तो n कितना रहेगा हम निकाल सकते हैं that is 6 equal to n मतलब इसके अंदर z कितना है z is equal to 6 that is the protons okay n is nothing but 6 that is the proton numbers and a is nothing but the mass number we need this protons and neutrons so this is nothing but the neutrons so carbon element carbon element has six proton and six neutron this is the figure what we get here in this one is going to be that okay and again इसके अंदर देखेंगे कार्बन के अंदर तो कार्बन के अंदर प्रोटॉन सिक्स है न्यूट्रॉन सिक्स है एंड सिक्स इज नथिंग विद इवन नंबर आप जानते हो इवन नंबर्स टू फोर सिक्स एट टेन दिस आर कॉल्ड इवन नंबर और ऑड नंबर्स कौन से थे आप मैथ्स में देख 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 लो 1 3 5 7 9 दिस आर कॉल्ड ऑड नंबर्स सो दिस हैज बीन फाउंड दैट ऑलमोस्ट 126 एलिमेंट्स आर देयर 126 एलिमेंट्स आर देयर व्हिच आउट even number of protons and even number of uh, neutrons dono even hote hain dono even hote hain see uh, protons are also even you know even protons and even neutrons as i will take even neutrons we iski baat karte hain 126 element periodic table periodic table hai theek hai uh as i will say protons neutrons proton neutrons as i will say and here protons be given at neutrons be given at or aise element 126 उल्टा भी केस होता है कुछ ऐसे एलिमेंट है जिसके अंदर न्यूट्रॉन ज्यादा है मतलब कि ऑड नंबर ऑफ प्रोटॉन्स और इवन नंबर ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन्स इसका नंबर ऑफ स्क्रिप्टी है और दोनों ऑड ऐसा होने वाला नंबर सिर्फ 4 के आसपास तो फोर इलेवन के आसपास है दिस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट तो आप ये अगर डेटा देखते हो ये डेटा देखते हो इस डेटा से पता चलता है मोस्ट ऑफ द एलिमेंट्स इन पीरियोडिक टेबल मोस्ट ऑफ द न्यूक्लाइड्स इन पीरियोडिक टेबल हैव इवन नंबर ऑफ प्रोटॉन्स एंड न्यूट्रॉन्स एंड दैट नंबर कम्स टू 126 अब यहां आप बोलेंगे सर पीरियोडिक टेबल में एलिमेंट्स को 118 एलिमेंट्स है Yes, right. टेबल में हंड्रेड एंड एटी ये प्योर एलिमेंट लेकिन उनके आइसोटोप्स की बात करते हैं तो साढ़े चार सौ से ज्यादा है आइसोटोप्स की बात करते हैं तो साढ़े चार सौ से ज्यादा है 
सो हियर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट आइस जैसे कि कार्बन 12 और ये कार्बन 30 दीज आर आइस ब्रोक्स पीरियोडिक टेबल में कार्बन एक ही बार गिना जाता है समझ रहे हैं आप लोग तो पीरियोडिक टेबल में कार्बन एक ही बार गिना जाता है कार्बन के आइसोटोप्स कार्बन 12 कार्बन 30 कार्बन 14 तीन आइसोटोप्स है क्लोरीन के ऑलमोस्ट नाइन आइसोटोप्स है ऑक्सीजन के तीन चार आइसोटोप्स है ऐसे देखेंगे तो साढ़े चार सौ एलिमेंट का पीरियोडिक टेबल बनता है इफ वी कंसिडर आइसोटोप्स ऑफ दिस एलिमेंट साढ़े चार सौ के आसपास सारे पीरियोडिक टेबल के एलिमेंट बनते हैं तो इसलिए बेस्ट प्योर एलिमेंट की बात करेंगे तो वो हंड्रेड एंड एटीन ही है बट उनके आइसोटोप्स की बात करेंगे तो साढ़े चार सौ क्या So this has been studied that most of the elements having even number of protons and even number of neutrons present in them. These are mostly stable elements, and there is we can say one twenty six elements. Uh, then uh, odd protons and uh, sorry, even protons and odd neutrons are almost fifty five. Uh, odd protons and even neutrons are fifty, and both odd are almost four. And these are unstable. So stability depends upon uh, even odd number of protons. So most of the elements which are stable, they are stable because of uh, Even number of protons and even number of neutrons present in their nucleon. So this is what we can say. Uh, first reason for the stability. Got it, everyone? So we have this is the stability reason. First reason we got to know about stability. Yeah. Now, now uh, we have second. We have second. Second is nothing but uh, uh, neutron to proton ratio. Yeah, proton to neutron ratio. So you can say proton to neutron ratio. Proton to neutron ratio means proton upon neutron. This way. इस रेशो की बात करें प्रोटॉन टू न्यूट्रॉन रेशो दिस इज द सेकंड फैक्टर दिस इज बीन आल्सो वेरी केयरफुली स्टडीड बाय द साइंटिस्ट एंड दे कम्स फ्रॉम दैट दिस प्रोटॉन टू न्यूट्रॉन रेशो आल्सो मैटर्स दैट आल्सो मैटर्स कैसे मैटर करता है से टेक एग्जांपल ऑफ कार्बन 6 एंड कार्बन 12 दिस इज रियल अब इसके अंदर हम डिस्कस करते हैं इसके अंदर प्रोटॉन आर 6 न्यूट्रॉन्स आर आल्सो 6 सो व्हाट हैपेंस हियर अगर हम प्रोटॉन टू न्यूट्रॉन रेशो तो 6 अपॉन 6 इज इक्वल टू 1 अपॉन 1 दैट मींस 1 इज टू 1 इज द रेशो रेशो क्या आता है किसका प्रोटॉन ऑड है कि इवन है और न्यूट्रॉन ऑड है कि इवन है क्या आप डिस्कस करें यहां पे डिस्कस करें प्रोटॉन टू न्यूट्रॉन रेशो हर न्यूक्लियोइड का प्रोटॉन टू न्यूट्रॉन रेशो कैलकुलेट करता है सो कार्बन चेन का देखिए न्यूट्रॉन रेशो कौन सा बना है कार्बन 13 है 13 है देखिए तो क्या लिखा है 6 अपॉन 7 तो ये 1:1 तो नहीं आएगा तो इट इज नॉट इक्वल टू 1:1 है ना 1 अपॉन 1. समथिंग आएगा यहां भी देखते हैं हम लोग 6 अपॉन 8 आएगा दिस इज आल्सो नॉट इक्वल टू 1:1 दिस इज आल्सो नॉट इक्वल टू 1:1 जल्दी So only this element, carbon twelve, has a proton to neutron ratio one is to one. Element having proton to neutron ratio one is to one are mostly stable in nature. Those who have proton to neutron ratio one is to one are they are mostly stable in nature. This number is very low. This element is very low. If you see the periodic table, you will see graphically that it is normally graph. Here is atomic number and here is mass number. So this is almost uh, uh, atomic number twenty, zero to twenty is that, and this is higher than that. Higher than that. So here the key element. Here the key element. The key element. This element. This is the lower graph. This is the lower graph. This is the lower graph. Lower part. This is the graph. When lower part, then these are the element who is who is who having proton to neutron ratio equal to one. And this is not having equal to proton to neutron ratio one. ये नहीं, in fact, ये element stable है नहीं। यहाँ से आगे भी इतना बहुत ही चला है, वो भी stable है नहीं। So the lower element, which has proton to neutron ratio one is to one, are stable in nature. And the elements which whose proton to neutron ratio not equal to one is to one, they are again unstable. So इसमें compare करते हैं तो carbon fourteen is really active. Carbon fourteen का ratio दिखती है, one is to one नहीं है। And that's why this is unstable in nature. That is really active. Carbon fourteen is really active. Whereas these elements are uh, stable elements, they are not radioactive. Okay, so, I mean, this concept that this is not applicable to each and every element, but this is a very generalized uh, observation that right? most of the elements which are having proton to neutron ratio equal to one is to one are mostly stable in nature. Or those nuclei whose proton to neutron ratio is not equal to one is to one are mostly unstable. Are unstable. 
Scientists studied most of the elements uh, given the periodic table, uh, given that is most of the nucleides. Then they found that some of the nucleides are unstable and some of the nucleides are stable. What is the reason? Why? They found that, and they found there are some magic numbers like that. We can say two, four, two, sorry, two, eight, eighteen, uh, twenty-six, fifty, like that. So. Okay, like this. So th these are the figures. We have no figures for that. So these figures are the uh, quantity of the magic number. Just like I am telling you, what is that? Who I am not lucky. Mind it. I never uh, feel like that because there should be a something like this one. There would be, but I never uh, feel like. That. But here, by going through most of the data, scientists come to conclusion that these are the figures. If they are present in any of the nuclei as the atomic number, as a mass number, they are found to be stable. In they are found to be stable. In so these are the numbers. Wherever they are, they may be atomic number, they may be mass number, or they may be some uh, other sort of number present in that nuclei. But if this number is present, then these nuclei are found to be stable in nature. That is very important. Right? So these are some of the important factors for the massive numbers. So these are the three major factors which decides. The stability of the element. Stability of the element. Now, next is nothing but the uh, uh, next factor is nothing but the nuclear potential. Okay, I mean, your number is one. You learn that number again. Nuclear potential. This is the fourth factor which decides again the stability of an atom. That is nuclear potential. Now, the nuclear potential, potential itself is related with the energy. Potential itself is related with the energy. Right? So potentially energy का parallel बढ़ा ऐसा माना जाता है या parallel बढ़ा ऐसा होता है क्या नहीं करने का लेसा। So nuclear potential इसका दूसरा definition ऐसा होता है कि nucleus जो है उस nucleus के अंदर how much energy stored in the nucleus। तो आज की तारीख में तो basic कोई नहीं पता पाया कि कितना energy nucleus के अंदर stored है। Very very high और unbeatable energy which is present in the nucleus। आज के क्या देखिए Einstein नाम के scientist के अंदर बात। so Einstein is a scientist who is able to find out this nuclear energy. Nuclear energy find out something uh, he becomes such a certain limit. But it is not he, uh, he find out the energy total energy value in that. He is not able to find out total energy value in that. So we are dealing with here nuclear potential, but of energy present or stored in the nucleus of an atom. So much uh, that this is the nucleus of an atom, this is the atom, and this is the nucleus of This is the center of atom, this is the nucleus. Or is nucleus with the energy? That is the nuclear potential. Nucleus में कौन-कौन present है? Nucleus में proton present है, nucleus में neutron present है, other particles भी इसमें present होते हैं. Okay. Now एक बात है कि protons are positive, protons are positive, neutrons are neutral, neutrons are neutral. याद रखिएगा. आप अच्छी तरह जानते होंगे. Protons are positive, neutrons are neutral. Now the thing is that how they are held together in an atom. How they are held up to the highest degree in the world. In the world, there is a very common concept called electrostatic force of attraction. Electrostatic force of attraction. And electrostatic force of attraction is the concept. So, electrostatic force of attraction is the concept. There is, you can say, there is attraction between oppositely charged ions or opposite charges. So, positive has the attraction for the negative. Negative has the attraction for the positive. So, this concept is the world. Even if you talk about the atom, Protons are positive, electrons are negative, and that's why they are held together. That's how we both are. Electrons are here. Electron is negative, but proton is here, it's positive. So, electron is held together with the proton, 
protonization help together with the electron because of electrostatic force of attraction. That is also called Coulombic force of attraction. Coulombic force of attraction is the force of attraction between oppositely charged particles, ions, opposite charges, like that. So opposite charges has the attraction and like charges has the repulsion. This is the Coulombic force. This is a concept, very important concept. Who says science either Jata in physics may have the key. Wahi concept as a nucleus to long term. What would happen? Abhi, what would happen? This is the nucleus. Where protons and neutrons are present. Carbon given. Carbon 6 and 12. Carbon protons kidney, 6 neutrons kidney, 6 neutrons. Carbon. 6 protons and 6 neutrons kidney present. Have they given? Is the under six protons or also the diameter is 10 to minus 15 meter. But the PCB do protonic interdisciplines maximum 10 to minus 15 meter. Maximum 10 to minus 15 meter. So, is the other all protons are positively charged. There must be a repulsion force between them. Because light charges has a repulsion. So, one proton must repel another proton. Or repulsion other jada, they will come out of the nucleus. Nucleus diameter is 10 to minus 15 meter. Who says Bahara? So, atom exists. 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 When we talk about the nucleus potential, nuclear potential, at that time we have to discuss what are the interactive forces which are present between these nuclear ones, that is the protons and neutrons. Which are the interactive forces? Because Coulombic forces are not applicable to the nucleus. That, these are outside the nucleus. Normal chemistry, may, general chemistry, may, general physics, may, uh, our dilutive lab, may, Coulombic forces later, us case, our physics be again in there. But these forces are not applicable to the nucleus. They are very important, they are very important. Uh, nucleus can be full of forces of attraction. So, though proton has the positive charge, both the proton has the positive charge, there isn't a repulsion between them. So, there are interactive forces. First proton has the attraction for another proton. This is first attraction. Dusra, neutron has the attraction for another neutron. And this uh, proton has the attraction for neutron. These three forces are present in the nucleus. These three of the forces are present in the nucleus and because of, it, because of which nucleus exists. Because of which nucleus it are you getting it? So this is what we can say. So within this nucleus, these are also called your short range forces. These are also called your short range forces. So when we talk about the short range forces, which are the interactive forces present between this uh, present in the nucleus? So proton to proton repulsion, uh, new uh, sorry, proton proton attraction, neutron neutron attraction, and proton to neutron attraction. Uh, the resulting force of this one is nothing but it's an attractive force, and that's why these particles are held together in the nucleus. That's why nucleus becomes the stable. That's why nucleus becomes the stable. So these are the things which are responsible for the stability of the atom. And the fifth factor, these are the four factors what we have discussed for the stability of the nucleus. Main factor uh, main topic is nuclear stability, and these are the factors which affect the nuclear stability. Factor number one is nothing but the given odd number of protons and neutrons. Number two is nothing but proton to neutron ratio present in an atom. Number three is nothing but the magic number which is uh, concluded by going to the number of beta. And last thing is nothing but the nuclear potential. Fifth is there, that is also called your binding energy. It's part of this nuclear potential, I can tell you more about this. But that has some derivation, that has a small derivation for that one, the binding energy. Because of which a nuclear atomic bomb is being discovered. Abhijan concept discussed in that is the uh, concept. Which is discovered by the Einstein and uh, team, and uh, as it was the uh, atom. So, that is nuclear binding energy, which is a part of nuclear potential. We have discussed that part, that is very potential part, but uh, I am low, so we'll come up with tomorrow with that uh, topic called the nuclear binding. Also, everyone got it? What we have discussed today has been concluded and been uh, sublated. Today, we have taken the recap of the chapter, and we have seen what is the structure of atom, which we have seen classification of nuclei based on isotopes, iso bars. Uh, mirror nuclei, isotones, and nuclear isotopes. Also, we have seen the classification based on the stability. We have stable nuclei, we have unstable nuclei. And next, we are discussing the nuclear stability and the factors affecting the nuclear stability are given. Given odd number of protons, neutrons, proton to neutron ratio, then magic numbers, nuclear potential, and uh, uh, nuclear binding energy. We have discussed it, but we'll discuss it tomorrow. Also, if you haven't got it, if you are doubt, we'll discuss it tomorrow. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow.